I asked my Dan Entz last hour if they could tell me if it was true that if LeBron James had to leave the game last night, not able to shoot the free throws, would he be able to come back into the game? They have not been able to find an answer. But meanwhile, my good friend Ted, who is a liquor salesman, just sent me the following information. If a player is bleeding, he's allowed a reasonable time to get the bleeding to stop before he can re-enter the game. The determining factor on whether a player cannot shoot his free throws and still re-enter the game is dependent on the type of foul that was called. If it's a regular personal foul, the player must shoot his own free throws or else he cannot re-enter. If the foul is called a technical two, then the player does not have to shoot his own free throws and he will be able to re-enter the game. Yes, Stephen. Uh, so, isn't that what Paul said? Uh, he wasn't sure. Just, gonna, just wanted to point out we had the information probably like an hour and a half before Ted did. That's not true. Paulie wasn't sure. <laughs> because if he was sure, then he wouldn't have said, well, we're trying to get a hold of the NBA. You know, technically, we had exactly that information because we thought that it was, no, you, you're allowed back in the game. You just have to get rid of all the blood. And Paul was like, no, actually, it's more like he has to shoot the shots. So Yeah, yeah, Paulie. The irony is I didn't have the information and the liquor salesman did, yeah. but I could get you a beer in about 10 seconds if Boom. you needed. I could have one on your desk in 40 Take seconds. Take that, How Ted. long do you think if I said, go get me a beer right now? Outside the building or inside? Outside of the building. Like, you can't go over to the tap here. That's 1040, 10.42 Eastern. Three minutes. I could have a beer at your desk. You guys think I can it? start the timer here. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, can wait. I stretch? I don't can move very stretch? Not, not very fast. All right. I'm going to put your uh, wireless mic up, too. Okay, so, so we'll Paulie to is going to go downstairs okay. to the Seven Seas Bar. Which is closed. Well. They're closed. They're open. Technically, they're closed. They open at 1130. I just saw Rich, the owner. He's definitely not at the bar, though. Okay. You're going to go. You can. Uh, okay, There's. you can get in there. Ready? Okay, three minutes. You're on the clock. Go. <laughs> Paulie's. Oh, God. Paulie. Should we lock him out just to see? Uh... Oh my God! Is that him running down the steps? Sounds like he fell down the steps. <laughs> hey, sorry. Oh sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, what happened? Sounds like someone yeah, hit his, the ground. His mic is gonna start breaking up a little bit probably when he gets in there, but then it'll come back. Okay, on. okay. Right now, we're only 30 seconds in. No, he's killing yeah. it. Oh, killing it. But yeah. the pour is going to be yeah. tough. It well, better be a good pour, I should have said Guinness. Thanks for not stabbing me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, that's Amy. Amy, the uh, yeah. hostess. I can tell by her All voice. Right. Look at Paulie. Killing it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, look at ah, this guy. <laughs> you can make it at 60. You can make it at 60. <laughs> And he didn't spill a drop. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. I mean, it's a, uh, that's a good pour, too. There that is go. a good pour right that, there. That's one minute, seven seconds. That is, that is well done right there. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to sip a beer, Polly? I'm okay. You is this right? our new Olympic event segment that we're going to yes. do? I would dominate but this, my country. This is not. The past. <laughs> this is not the Olympic sports story that I was talking about. It's not. No. But Paulie does have a list of Olympic sports that are being proposed. Yes, Paulie. There was almost an incident downstairs. Well, we heard. I came barreling into the back area, the work area. Yeah. And the bartender, who's about four feet nine. Amy. She's cutting limes. And she goes, ah! And she had the <laughs> knife in her hand. She goes, I have a knife. I have a knife. It would have been worth it. 